Welcome back to Simplify Mechanic. My name's Thomas. Today's video is episode number two, Mobile Mechanic Workday. I'm going to have you ride along with me while I diagnose and fix a Jeep Compass. Then we'll head over to another spot and do the same thing on a 2010 vehicle cross. Alright guys, we're just going to jump straight into this. We're traveling across Columbus. We've got a long day, so we're going to go ahead and get started. We just arrived on scene. It's a 2016 Jeep Compass test drive. You're hearing some noise and we're going over some bumps and stuff. All right, we got the vehicle jacked up. And if you move the tire left to right or up and down and it has a lot of movement, that can tell you if you have a tie rod or something loose. We found the sway bar links in to be bad as you can tell. Also the lower control arm. So we decided to go ahead and drop it back down, break the lug nuts loose. Once we get them loose, we're going to go ahead and get this vehicle jacked back up. Make sure we put it on the subframe when we jack it up. And get some jack stands under there because we've got to be safe. Now that we got the vehicle jacked up, we got the lug nuts broken loose, we got the jack stands under it. Now we can go ahead and take the lug nuts all the way off. We're going to use our impact for that. Now this tire was stuck on there, so we had to use a hammer and hit it from the inside to knock it off. Once we get it off, you can slide it under the car for a little bit more protection. Okay, now we're going to take the sway bar link end off. Starting with the top bolt, you can see when you spin it, everything moves. So you have to get an Allen wrench, I think it's 7mm, and you put it in the middle. Then you can take the bolt off, like this. If you don't have that Allen wrench in the middle, you won't be able to do it everything will just keep spinning and once you get the bolt off you can slide it out all right now we need to take the bottom bolt off it's the exact same thing get you a seven millimeter allen wrench you put it in the middle use your wrench or your socket to take it off i think it's number 13 is actual bolt size 13 millimeter all right once it comes off then you can go ahead and take the sway bar link off throw it to the side get your new one in you simply slide it in and you're putting it on it's the exact same thing you got to be able to hold the middle with the allen key and now you can tighten the bolt all right get that top bolt get it nice and snug once you got that tight drop down to the bottom we're going to repeat the same process with the bottom bolt do it till it's nice and snug once we're done here we're going to go ahead and start with the lower control arm the first one will be the bolt on the right if you're looking at it, it'll be a 21 millimeter. Go ahead and bust that loose and take that all the way out. After that, we're gonna jump over to the left bolt. It's also a 21 millimeter. You bust that loose, the nut will come off the top and you'll have to pull the bolt through the bottom. You can see we got it removed right here. There's one more bolt right there. It's a 21 millimeter. That's also a pinch bolt. We go ahead and get that lower control arm out like that and you can see the damage right there it was in bad shape you can also see how bad the sway bar link was damaged as well here we jumped ahead i'm showing you the new sway bar link and the lower control arm everything put in nice and good to go but you can look at the mess i've made on the road though but there she be just took the test drive, everything's nice and good. Here we are getting paid. Made 160 bucks on this one. On to the next. All right guys, we're headed to do a 2010 Buick LaCrosse 3.0 liter alternator replacement. Charging them about $160 to do it. Should take just two hours. It's usually about 120, but it's later in the day. So if you go out night or later evening, or bad weather, anything like that, you charge a little extra, so. Let's have a little chat, huh? We're driving to our job here, I'm a little wore out. This is where, uh, if you wanna make money, this is where it comes down to. How dedicated are you to make money? 
because uh, it's very easy when you own your own business or you're making your own schedule to uh, just shut it down for the day because here's 120 bucks I could have passed up and it's only going to take me one to two hours, you know? It's got to be dedicated, man. All right, here we're on scene. The 2010 Buick LaCrosse 3.0 liter battery keeps dying. So we're doing a diagnosis with it. We checked the voltage with our multimeter. It was 12 volts at the battery. Once the car started, there was still only 12 volts going through. So that tells us the alternator is not working because usually if the alternator is working, you'd see about 13.5 up to 14. So our diagnosis is an alternator replacement. So we're jumping on it. Here we are taking the battery cable off. It's a 10 millimeter, taking the negative bolt off. Run over here to the alternator, undoing the clip. It's just a push clip. Put it off to the side. Here we are, we're working on the actual alternator bolt. It's 12 millimeter. Once we got that off, you can remove the cable there. Push that to the side. Grab your 15 millimeter socket, bust this one loose. And go over to the other bolt. Go ahead and bust that one loose. There's only three total bolts to hold the alternator in. You got these two up front. And on the side where the idler pulley is, you have to actually remove the idler pulley. That makes the third bolt. Right there's the idler pulley. That is your th third bolt to the alternator. Also right there for your belt tensioner, use a 3 8 inch ratchet to take the tension off the serpentine belt so you can remove it. Right there, that's where the idler pulley goes. Here we are, we got everything back in. And here's the idler pulley. That's that third bolt I was talking about. Here we got the new alternator in, just showing you everything put back together, serpentine belt on. It was the correct diagnosis. We started the car and it had 14 volts like it was supposed to. So the customer was happy, came out, he paid us our $160, mission complete. So to recap guys, we first knocked out the sway bar link in and the lower control arm on the passenger side of that Jeep Compass. We made about 160 off that. Then we drove across Columbus to a 2010 Buick LaCrosse. We knocked out the alternator job, made about 160 off that. So for the day, we made about 320 bucks off in about four and a half hours actual work time. So once again, thank you guys for the support. I do truly appreciate it. If you guys haven't yet, please subscribe for me. It helps me a lot. If you like this kind of ride along video, hit the thumbs up. And if you don't, leave me a comment. Give me some other video ideas. All right. Simplify until next time.